Hi there everyone and this is Chrissy and in this video I'm going to be showing you a protection ritual which you can do or you can do it with me as we go along um, in this video. So uh, basically uh, you will need a black candle. A, a taper size like this one will be pretty much good. You can also pretty much use a, a white candle if that is what's available to you. I just prefer a black candle because this protection ritual that I'm making is not your ordinary protection ritual. I do have various ingredients with me and I'll discuss and talk about it as we go along. But this is also about um, really reflecting back any form of magical attacks, evil eye that is being sent to you so since this is a protection ritual i would advise you guys to first do a cleansing work and you can do that by doing um, a spiritual bath so once you are able to uh, do a spiritual bath uh, i would suggest to wear a white cloth uh, wear a white shirt or something like that uh, so that you know it gives that vibration of a healthier aura you're, you're not really entirely absorbing things because you know wearing black tends to absorb stuff and um, and i'm pretty sure everyone knows that but um, we are um, putting that in practice by wearing white because technically you are cleansed but you're not yet protected so that's basically the notion and idea so you will need this black candle now uh black or white candle again <laughs> uh you will do your own carvings here and what i'm i've written over here which you may not be able to see clearly on the camera is that i've written my full name because this uh working is for me i've written my full name and i i i basically wrote the petition or uh the request that i you know am seeking on on this candle and uh i i wrote like protection for full name and then uh what did i put protection for her full name and repel back uh repel or reflect back all negative form of energy that is being sent to me uh, protect me from harm uh all of those kinds of things you know uh protect me from any form of magical attacks or uh negative intrusion energy intrusion that are uh, not being uh, welcome that are unwelcome and things that i really don't like you know something something like that um uh so i've re already wrote mine over here and uh, the one thing that you're probably not gonna see um in this video is how i actually work on this candle i basically did a, a, a cleansing charging and consecration on the candle itself and i basically offered some you know incense work and to to smoke it out uh, based on the intention that i've um placed here basically so and i also prayed over this uh with a sam's prayer i use sam's 23 you can do that by yourself if that is uh, what you want so yeah that's basically what i did for that okay so um you can use a carving if you have an athame uh you have uh, something like that you can use this for your own carving you can use a pen or a nail uh for carving stuff into your candle so it really depends on you you can just use a pencil or a ball pen or whatever or uh, anything works basically you don't really need to complicate your things um so i'll be using three oils and this is um spiritual oils i would say i'm using van van oil because van van oil creates a, a form of change like you know removing the bad stuff and turning them to good so it's a really good all-around oil and neutralizing ingredient this is a holy anointing oil that has been prayed over as well and activated uh, which I did by myself and it's also based on the biblical scriptures 
in the Bible, the recipe, the entire recipe basically is from the Bible. So it's called the Holy Anointing Oil. And this one is the Firewall of Protection Oil, which, uh, uh, which gives that, you know, very protective barrier and stuff like that kind of thing. So it's, it is these three oils that I'm going to be working with right now. And um, I, you can purchase this on my shop if that's what you want. I'm selling all of this. Um, or you can just go to any of your, um, go to Botanica and purchase any form of Van Van oil, Holy oil, or fiery, fiery wall of protection oil to work on your candle. So, uh, I'll start with my Van Van oil and just, you know, work it on my hands and stuff. Okay, so... So, just anoint your candle and then... Make sure that you know as you anoint your candle you're putting in the intention that you want things to be that's why if you see me being silent and stuff like that that's probably what i'm doing so it's hard to keep talking and focusing on the work so i made this man bun oil create some form of change and neutralizing Holy anointing oil. Okay. Let's just put the holy anointing oil into this candle. Form of protection, purification, cleansing. And ward off things that are unwanted and protect me from any form of decay which may came from other things or me came to myself and then the last but not the least i'm also working on this uh, protection oil basically okay so once that is done you can um get a tissue or you know i basically try to use the oil like a lotion and just spread it all over my skin that way you know i don't really waste the oils because they all have their own uses so um yeah uh, so the next thing that you'll probably would need is a uh, sea salt now this is the pure sea salt and what you'll do is you'll want to have your candle at the center of a plate um any form of plate will do but i typically use this kind of plate you know it's very simple but because of that you know circle at, at the outside it gives that form of circle you know without really needing to create any form of intrusion in the plate itself it gives that form of barrier within the ritual or spell that you're making basically so let me first try to um, put this candle at the center Okay, so once it has stabilized like that, you know, you should be, um, be able to work on the other ingredients that we need. So, like I mentioned earlier, you would need a sea salt. So, you can use your hands to work with this, or you can get a spoon or anything of sort, really. So and you will put the sea salt all around the candle basically to form a barrier now salts in general basically function in a way that it does what you tell it to do and for this work we are going to make this 
sea salt be a protective barrier to give us protection? To give me protection, basically. Like a, a white light to give me protection from any form of negative energy, basically. Now, one thing that is very important is that when you are putting ingredients into your plate, try to um, put the... Don't put the ingredients too much near the candle so that, you know, in, um, you know, do practice on fire safety. You don't want to put the ingredients wherein fire can really blow up and <laughs> cause accidents in your area and because we want to be protected and not be uh, prone to attacks or something like that so try to not put the salt too near the candle so yeah okay once that is done, you can put it aside and offer a short prayer for your uh, for your salt, basically. So allow me to have a silent moment uh, as I work on this. To give me protection to block away all forms of unwanted energies. Energies that may attack me, may be sent to me, people that are throwing things at me or um, neutralize the energies that might surround me or all those things that may harm, give harm or give a form of a negative influence into my aura. Be a form of protective light to shower upon my field and my energy just let me move her out of me okay so once that is all done um the next thing that you'll probably need is a um rosemary rosemary you can purchase this on any any grocery really and you can just, you know, spread it all around as well. This will give you a sense of protection from any form of evil as well. So it's always a good ingredient to have and keep with you. So I'm putting it on top of the sea salt basically and box out any form of evil or negative energy that may come my way open the path cleanse everything out and purify my field and my energy and my aura give me a form of fiery protection speaking of fire protection we would want to have some form of garlic garlic blocks out negativity or any form of um evil evil spirits and stuff like that uh, so garlic is really a really good protection work so just put it all over your plate Any form of evil, darkness, and negative situations in you. Block away any form of ill intent, evil eye, into my space. 
and reflect them back to whence they came. Another one that I pretty much really, really like, it's my favorite, is having Ru. I think all, everyone should have Ru into their uh, uh, workplace or so in your home. Ru is a very, very good element for protection work. To protect you from any form of harm which you may have caused yourself. Or others may put towards you. I think it was wrong to, to give him attention. Amen. Okay, so, um, you can actually stop here and start lighting the candle or and you know proceed to um doing other prayer works but um for me i'm still going to be adding a few stuff here i'm going to be adding this witch verse this is like a witch ball basically and this witch ball i will be putting it over here at the side and this is really more of an ingredient you probably guys cannot see this is an ingredient that can um really repel any form of magical attacks uh from you know if there is a witch that is going to put harm on you or any form of you know really strong negative energy magical intrusion from another worker or another spellcaster you know this is going to be a repelling ingredient for that and so, um, aside from that i'm also be adding in osha root so let me first try to um, get this in so i'll be putting in some osha root here this is one expensive stuff uh, <laughs> But um, Osha Root basically removes, you know, really battles out any form of negative. Uh, it basically uh, removes evil spirits or, you know, any form of negative work into your space. So it's one of those really, really good uh, protection uh herb that you can use so if you have ultra root make use of that so let me first just put it like here making it like a circle kind of thing and then put the witch verse over here so what is on Solid protection to protect me from evil spirits. Protect me from any form of energy that may come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, um... Before I actually, you know, uh, you, basically you, you can start lighting this up now and I'll do that as well. But as you light this, um, since this is a protection work, I basically work on doing Sam's prayer here. And I'll be using Sam's 23 and Sam's um, 91. So you can stay with me uh, basically as I do my prayer work here. And then, um, or you can, you know, start ending this video if that's what you want. So 
give me some time. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me for all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I really like it when, you know, you actually see, you know, the, the candle flaring up whenever there is a prayer. The next prayer that I'm going to be doing here is Psalms 91. And I will be altering a um, few parts of the verse because this is going to be a prayer for me. So instead of using you, I will be using I. So here we go. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. He is my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover me with His feathers and under his wings I will find refuge. His faithfulness will be my shield and rampant. I will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at my right side and ten thousand at my right hand but it will not come near me i will only observe with my eyes and see the punishment of the wicked if i say the lord is my refuge and i make the most high of your dwelling no harm will overtake me. No disasters will come near my tent. For he will command his angels concerning me to guard me in all my ways. They will lift me up in their hands. And so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. I will tread on the lion and the cobra, and I will trample the great lion and the serpent, because he loves me. And says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he has acknowledged my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In Jesus' name, Amen. And then, after that, I go back again to Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me for all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, 
so this is basically it for this protection ritual you can try and do this yourself or you know you can watch or re-watch the video and do it with me if that is what you want so um yeah thank you guys for watching and if you want to have any form of request and do a reading or do a booking with me you can check out my website in the stars by and i'll see you next time bye